Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In this one, we're going to be taking on the fourth level within the game, it being Angler's Tunnel. And wow, the music and look of this dungeon within this remake looks so nice. I mean, normally the water temple has always been my favorite aesthetic when it's come to Zelda temples. I know the water temples get a lot of flack, mainly because of Ocarina of Time and its water temple, how you had to constantly shift between your iron boots and that would require pausing the game and opening up the menu and then putting it on and I feel like, yeah, that would get pretty annoying, but um, overall, every other water temple within the Zelda games have been pretty straightforward and fun, if you ask me. I don't think the water mechanics really slow things down, I actually enjoy them, and I have to say, within this one, I really love the aesthetic, the music, everything about this is so nice and calming. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to kind of see this entire temple through. So, okay, we managed to get ourselves the compass, and now we're going to get our first small key. I believe we're going to want three small keys before we consider progressing towards the room that will be on the right of this one. And I think we have to kill these enemies to exit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Usually you always want to kill the enemies in each room. So yeah, don't enter this yet. Uh, we need two more keys. Pretty much everything within this temple is given to you pretty easily. Uh, you don't actually have to look for them as the compass was given to us. And if we actually make our way over here, we're going to get ourselves another necessary item within each dungeon. And that is the stone beak. And now you may say, oh, but you're missing the dungeon map. Well, believe it or not, the dungeon map is also just given to you as if we head up here. Let's go ahead and use uh, the Pegasus boots, though, to kind of clear ground much quicker. And yes, this right here is gonna be the dungeon map so yeah pretty straightforward not making this temple confusing whatsoever but now let's go ahead and yahoo do the jump i have to copy mario and say that i don't know why but okay kill this enemy and uh, i do believe we're gonna want to use the bombs here it's you know can't really tell because you can't blow up the non-cracked ones but if you see anything cracked you know in zelda you just gotta throw a bomb in front of it and while this should give us a second small key but don't worry uh, we're, we're, we're trying to stack them anyway, so there should be one more that we need to get and I want to ignore these enemies not waste hearts because I do believe up here We might have to fight something. Okay, never mind. This is actually really straightforward as well and ah So yeah, there are shallow points of the water that you want to avoid and these uh, Wisps are gonna be annoying though. I want to try something. Maybe I can land one on uh, One of these because I do believe if you use your magic powder there we go, they'll turn into a little fairy. They're known as anti-fairies as well, um, or wisps, or whatever the term is, in, depending on the Zelda game, as they constantly change the name, but they kind of do the exact same thing anyways, and yeah, it's a pretty nice thing you could do if you ever need a fairy, but okay. Now that we have all three keys, we're gonna jump back and progress to the room that had the locked door that I chose not to unlock, because now we can actually open up all three locks with the keys that we've obtained. So, let's go ahead and quickly make our way around, and I'm not gonna lie, this music and everything about this temple from the lighting, the way the water looks within this game, is just so pleasing and calming. This is definitely the most calming temple, and it really feels that way even with how easy everything is. Like, so far it's been completely straightforward, nothing too crazy. Here's a chest we can't get yet. Uh, as you can only imagine that yes, the item of this dungeon will allow us to finally swim and I cannot wait for that. So let's go ahead and use the third small key. We already used them all. Let's go ahead and kill this guy too. Oh, I totally forgot because I do have the red tunic. I'm able to kill enemies really fast. I feel like the blue tunic would have fit for this dungeon in particular, but oh well. And oh, look at that. A small key has fallen. That sucks. Sadly, we can't get it even if we try to jump down. Well, well you can get it and you will get it by heading over here downstairs. We can't do it yet because we need to be able to swim as, as you can see all of this shallow water will cause Link to drown, losing half uh, a heart, which isn't that much actually. But okay, let's avoid all these enemies here. I just wanna kind of jump my way. Okay, that's not really a good jump, but I believe I could do this as well if I wanna go much quicker. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it again. Woo! <laughs> I love long jumping with Link, and uh, this should take us to the boss again. We need to swim to that area, so let's just go ahead and continue onward. Uh, avoid these guys. I want to block him so I can kill him in one hit. Kill you in one hit. Oh, I can kill them all in one hit, really. Nice. Okay. Let's open up this chest, and we'll... Oh, wow. It's a uh, slime. What a surprise. But, okay. I'm going to go ahead and just head up here, and 
We can kind of kill whatever it's around us. Let's see. Oh, oh, this is a little puzzle we're gonna have to solve in a bit. Okay, so I believe it's right up here. So let's first get this small key. This will be useful, but not at the moment. I'm gonna avoid those eyes, and I don't believe I can even progress through here. So we got a small key. Alright, so uh, I realize that once you do get the small key, you do want to backtrack as there's literally nothing you can do. Uh, we, we can't really head in here because uh, that's blocked and there's really nothing else we can currently do. But, uh, use the small key you've obtained and make it to the area that there was a small key that kind of fell down a pit. That would have been the key we would have wanted to unlock the door we saw, but now we can because we got a different small key. So while it does look like you're at a dead end, don't forget that there's a locked door right here. And I believe that's why they give you the compass and uh, dungeon map so early so you can remember. And oh man, I totally forgot about this enemy here. I hate this enemy. It reminds me a lot of uh, the one from Ocarina of Time, which is just a big octo. You have to chase it and you want to be really careful because this guy, as you can see, manages to hit himself every time. Uh, when he hits the wall and you want to make sure you hit him in his butt like that and then quickly run away from him and rinse and repeat oh wait if you go too fast it looks like what this is new okay there we go I feel like he'd always just run in circles and you just want to chase him he's chasing you you're chasing him it's you know a game of just your know, cat and mouse so again hit him and now I'm just gonna run away uh, hugging the wall seems to be pretty easy as well to get to him really quickly. I'm gonna do that and then maybe I can make it- No, what? How'd you- Okay, I feel like he's smarter than he was in the original game because it was much easier in the original one. See, now he's um, trying to trick me and I guess that's not a bad thing, but- Okay, really? You're just gonna follow me like that? Maybe I can jump over him and then do- Oh, you can! That is definitely a really nice mechanic that I didn't think of, and I don't even think it was necessary in the original, but I think it only, he only takes like three hits, so come on! There we go! Wait, oh. Now you're just walking backwards? Okay. That's interesting. Come on, Link. There we go. Again, he's doing the backwards thing. Uh-oh. Okay. We could do this. There we go. I'll just keep at it. I'm getting hit, though. Uh, okay, come at me. And then... Perfect! Okay, yeah, that's much easier. If you just let him come at you, hit the wall, you can easily jump over him and then hit him right in the butt. Uh, and luckily we get a fairy that heals us. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Now, up here is where we should get something that will help us progress forward. I believe, actually, it's gonna let us kind of, uh... See the other side of the room where that key was that we couldn't actually take on, but... Okay, Link's footsteps sound way too loud here, but... Uh, come on, Link, don't get crushed! Phew! Okay, so... Yeah, this is where things are gonna change, because now we're finally gonna get the item of the dungeon, and... It is the flippers! Yeah, so Link needed just flippers to swim. Apparently without flippers you can't swim. Uh, yeah. But okay, let's step on this. Uh, actually, let me step up here. So you want to get this one first, and then you want to do this one. Oh, it's a different order than the original game. So it's a good thing I am doing this without trying to solve the puzzle first. So it was down, up, middle. Uh, okay, okay, I, I, I'll remember it. I, I, it's going to be harder to explain. I feel like it's going to confuse myself. So this is the room that we want to do it. So it was like this, this. And then here, and now we can swim. So you couldn't even solve this without it. Oh, it wasn't this one yet. Okay, you get away from me, enemies. Okay, now it will be, let me just jump. Can I jump? I guess you can't jump. This, and then the middle one, and then this last one right here. And voila, just like that, we get ourselves a secret. But, um, okay, so yeah, this is the room, I guess, that you can't actually solve without the flippers, even if you do know the way. And, oh, I love these 2D sections. They're so detailed. Nintendo should really put more effort in, uh, in making maybe something like this with Zelda 2 or something. I'd be so amazing. But, okay, we want to trick this guy and then quickly jump over him. I feel like it was harder to do in the original game. That was, you know, easy. I got it first try. And now, don't jump down yet, because we want to get... This, the nightmare key. And I believe that's pretty much it with the dungeon. So 
Let's just go ahead and head straight to where we need to go. But obviously don't forget that there was a small key that fell and that is what might trick you, I guess. Those are like the few things I feel like can make the dungeon difficult. So um, as you can see, this will take us further, but you won't be able to fully progress as you don't want to forget about the small key. Now, I wish you could use Rock's Feather while in the water. Uh, this is something I'm not too used to as I haven't, you know, swam in a Zelda game in a while. But okay, see, this is like a nice shortcut too now that we do have uh, this. Uh, the flippers, that is. But okay, so yeah, I just want to go ahead and no, oh, just run away. Come on, leave me alone. I want to enter here and get the small key that fell into that pit. So with the flippers. We can now dive down and pick it up. I like how you can actually see the flippers on the link. I believe you could have in the um, original games as well. But okay, let's see if we can do this. Woo, nice. You know what? I'm impatient. I'm going to do it again. No, okay. Yeah, I can totally imagine a really awesome Zelda 2 uh, with, with 2D style like that. Even if the graphics look like that. I wouldn't want it to be cartoony uh, like this where it looks like a diorama. But I, I, I would want it to, you know, still kind of have um you know this like nice lighting and different aesthetic to it and wait, i just realized i could head here okay get away from me i opened up this chest i didn't pick it up so uh yeah 50 rupees that i would have skipped down on so good thing we got it obviously i want to get it. i was planning to get it because we are gonna 100 percent this game and that's the last thing we needed within this dungeon if you open up the map as you can see everything else has been opened except this one chest that i forgot about that you also need your flippers for so good thing i opened up my map so it's probably gonna be not necessary I already have the small key I feel like it might just be more rupees but regardless you needed your come on push in time okay you needed your dude why is everything following me here get away guys you know what okay anyways as I was saying yeah you need your flippers for this but it doesn't really seem that necessary are you kidding me oh yes kill yourself please thank you he had to block the path. All right, there we go. So this, I don't think you could have made it with a long jump, sadly. So let me just quickly avoid that. And oh, look at that, a fairy. It will make up for all the HP I just lost. So give it to me. Phew. All right, I guess that was worth it. And yes, more rupees. So good thing I opened up the dungeon map because yeah, there was one little thing I had forgotten. But now we can make our way to the boss with these. Uh, so, yeah, most of the chests require flippers, and now, actually, exploring Kohola Island is going to be much more exciting, because a lot has opened up, and if you do click B, you can actually dive for a bit. Wow, the water looks so good in this game. Nintendo has always made water look good, and this is another one of those games. I actually believe, uh, uh from what I know, Grezzo worked on this game, which they are known for, um, Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D. And they did such an amazing job. In my opinion, I know some people hate on it. I don't see uh, anything to hate on. I think those remakes stay true to the original. And uh, they're better, in my opinion. Like, they even went out of the way to, like, keep a lot of speedrunning glitches and things. Just to make it as true as it was to the original as it could. But, okay. So, this is the room that we couldn't do anything about because it was completely blocked. But now, we can... Don't even kill these enemies. Uh, we've done everything, we've used the last small key, and now we're ready to take on the boss. I'm at full HP. The boss is actually extremely easy, especially with the tunic we have, so... You'd think because it's the water temple that we'd need the blue tunic. Not really. I mean, it only gives you defense. This isn't Ocarina of Time, but... Yeah, you don't need any of that, as when you enter, you're going to be able to take on... The boss, which is known as... Oh god, it actually does look like an angler fish. This is, I guess, the angler's fish i think it's like angler's fish but i mean oh yeah it's just angler fish i believe that's literally yeah just like an actual fish a really ugly fish so really easy boss in the original game it was extremely easy our sword is on fire so this is gonna be more than easy because we just need to hit its little light and it'll eventually die like this is not special at all and there's really nothing to it yeah, it will summon other enemies, but it's just so weak and helpless and kind of, you know, I just feel bad killing it. There's, it gives nothing to, you know, like there's no challenge. There's nothing to do with it. It just kind of stays there and dies and then it gives you the heart container. So, yeah, this whole dungeon was easy, even down to the boss, uh, to where the boss felt like it just kind of let itself die. Um, but yeah, okay, not bad. 
We killed the what the tunnel was named after. And now we can move on. I don't even care. I'm going to get my next instrument. So screw it. And now the door will open. It's interesting how you have to go into a 2D section to fight the boss. But I love the concept. And I'm not going to lie. I guess I was so focused on killing the boss. I couldn't admire how beautiful this was. And how like the fish comes from the background. Really well done. Again, I would love to see a 2D Zelda game that kind of has detail as well as this. Because it looks so nice. But... Regardless, that is it for this one. Let's go ahead and pick up the next instrument of the sirens. And this being the surf harp. I feel like this instrument fits best with this temple as it is so calming and the harp is such a calming instrument that it really works and now to the bay this is where the flippers come in handy your road goes into the bay all right i'm really excited for what's up ahead but there we go so yeah that does it for this episode of link's awakening we took on angler's tunnel this fish like thing that we see right here the angler fish is killed sadly i mean it's such an ugly fish i don't i don't know why they just recreated it in this game like it's it's such an ugly thing it exists in real life that they treat it like a monster because it's so hideous but yeah we killed the fish and now we become the fish as i can so okay that's a bad joke but okay anyways yeah thank you all so much for watching next time we're gonna make use of these flippers actually and there is something we can do right up here if anything especially with the flippers i'm so excited to yes explore koholent now being able to swim because link only needed flippers to be able to swim and wow the lighting here is so nice I'm, I'm constantly admiring the game but anyways again thank you all so much for watching be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and join me next time when we uh, swim within Koholan Island. I'll see you all then. Goodbye. <laughs>